card. I'm sure you guys have seen what came out recently. The new Discomania Cloudbreaker, Eagle McMahon. Came out on August 17th, a couple days ago now. I went over to Disc Golf Center and picked one up. I actually picked a couple up. So if you're unfamiliar with it, it's a DD3 in an S-line plastic. Over the years, they kind of had a whole bunch of them. There was a Cloudbreaker 1, the original, Cloudbreaker 2, Cloudbreaker 3, which was pretty recent. But every time they released it, they kind of gave it some new artwork and they kind of went up the numbers as they released them. But they've always been really popular. They kind of did a little documentary for this thing too, so that was a pretty cool watch. But this new one is just a Cloudbreaker. Doesn't have a number behind it. They did this one as a creator series. I think what they're doing is they're, they're kind of marketing this one and the DD3 separate. So they can continue selling this one as a creator series and they're also going to be continuing selling the DD3 on the side. I think these are going to be here to stay. So every time they come out with these, I think it'll be easier for them. They don't have to make like a Cloudbreaker 4, Cloudbreaker 5, Cloudbreaker 6 every time they want to make them. They can just put them under the Cloudbreaker name and call it a day, which is cool. I think a lot of people are going to be able to get these now. A lot of people are going to be able to throw them. That's another thing with Discmania. I mean, like when you watch the end of bags with the pros from them, they tend to have a lot of discs that you can't really buy anymore. They call them unicorn discs because if you lose them, it's really hard to find another one, but they're getting better at being able to have consistent molds. Oh, easy bud. One of the ones I picked up was this blue one. I'm thinking I'm gonna dye it, so stick around to the end of the video. You'll get to see how it comes out. But we have a tough competitor for the Cloudbreaker today. You guys know what it is. The Discraft Zeus. Got ants crawling on me. Eagle McMahon, Paul Macbeth, different companies. These are the two flagship drivers. I'm sure you've seen the European Open recently. They were going head to head. That's what we're gonna do with these guys. Let's jump into it. I actually just picked up this Zeus, brand new. Still got the sticker on it. This thing's still brand new, I haven't even thrown it. I wanted to make it a good test. Let me take the sticker off. 174 grams. The Cloudbreaker says it's 173 grams. Don't you litter. Um, yeah, they're both distance drivers. They both have the same flight numbers. 12 speed, five glide, minus one turn and a three fade. Looking at the wings on them, they actually look really similar. This one's got a touch of pop to it, but most of the ones I feel are kind of just flat. Like the one in my bag, that, one's, that one doesn't really have a lot of pop to it. The Cloud Breaker, has a little bit of pop top too, it's a little softer. Let's look at the PDGA measurements on it just to see what's going on here. No, oh, it's the same. So the measurements on the Zeus, it has a rim depth of 1.2 centimeters and it's got a rim thickness of 2.3 centimeters. The Cloudbreaker also has a rim depth of 1.2 and the rim width of 2.3. Yeah, both feel pretty good in the hand. The Cloudbreaker plastic is a little bit softer, a little bit grippier. You can kind of dig your thumb into that flight plate a little bit. Pretty soft. The, um, the Zeus, a little bit slicker, a little bit stiffer. You can't dig your thumb into that flight plate as much. All right, let's jump into some holes. I'll give them some good pulls. Let's see which one comes out on top. Cloudbird. Oof, why? Gotta stretch it out.
nice. Oh. <laughs> get out of here, doggy. So we did some holes. I did some of the open ones so we can see what they were doing in the air. One of the first things I noticed right away was the angle I usually throw my drivers on, a little bit of a hyzer. They usually pop up, they turn, and then they finish. When I did it with these guys, they just kind of held that little hyzer line. Both of them didn't really flip up at all. They just kind of held it, it went straight, and then had a finish. So on a couple different holes, I put them on more of a little Anheuser line. And when I did that, I noticed the Zeus was fighting out of it a lot quicker than the Cloud Breaker. So I think the Zeus is a little bit more overstable. When I did the same line with this thing, I was actually really digging it. It was kind of, it didn't have to coast too far right for me to be worried about it. It just kind of held it right where I wanted it and came out of it and it didn't really just dump out. It kind of just had a nice soft finish out of it. So that was pretty sweet. I like that. I'm actually thinking this one's gonna go right in the bag. If I tried to do that same line with any of my other drivers, it would have just held it too long and not really fought out of it. This one's a little bit more overstable than those, but it's not like a crazy overstability where it's just not really too workable. The only thing I was worried about at the beginning when I was feeling it, and I was saying it kind of felt gummy and soft. I thought when I came out in the sun and it's just cooking, it was gonna get a lot softer. Usually plastic does when it's in the sun, but it really didn't get too much softer. It just kind of held that same texture, and I liked that. I hit some trees with both of them. No cuts or scratches on either of them. The ESPs I've been throwing for a while, I've hit a lot of trees with them, and they hold up really good. I'm not too sure about the S-Line because it is a little bit softer, but from what I can see so far, it is holding up good. Made in Sweden by Discmania. Sweden. 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 Yeah, I mean, I got nothing against the Zeus. I've always thrown these things. I've always liked them. But if I had to pick one between these two, I'm probably going to reach for this guy, the Cloud Breaker. He's going right in the bag. There he goes. You can stay over there. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I am gonna, whoa, easy bud. I am gonna dye both of these, so stick around. I'm gonna show you what they look like. But yeah, let me know if you picked up one of these guys. I know there's a lot of other 12 speed drivers out there. Let me know how you think it stacks up to those guys. Thanks for watching. I had a good time filming it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm gonna go dye these.